Hey everybody, Sean the Shepherd here, and welcome to a brand new segment on this channel I'm calling First Impressions and Lots of Questions. If you're anything like me, you were blown away by the sheer number of new items, features, and mobs being added to Minecraft in 117, the Caves and Cliffs update coming summer 2021. But if you were also like me, you've got as many questions about how that stuff is going to work as you do excitement about how cool it's going to be to play with it. So let's get right into it. Cliffs? What? These are the mountains we have always wished for. That's right, no more leaving it up to FWIP or Pixel Rifts to handcraft them as a backdrop to our bases. No, these are the real deal. No silly little blue ridges or even rocky mountain highs. These are the full Alps, baby. Look at those vistas. Look at those tree lines. Okay, it's it's just a picture. Uh, Moyang, where, where's the footage? Could this be the one place where we finally get to say these four glorious words in Minecraft? Grappling hooks and zip lines. Only time will tell. Mo Yang, if you're listening, grappling hooks and zip lines. And if not, well, at least we've got the telescope so we can dream of higher places. And when we get there, up to those tippy tops, Snowier snow away. Oh, mountains, snow. Watch your step. The snow is snowier than before. Yep, they keep talking about it. Snowier snow, we didn't get any footage. But we know now we need snowshoes. We know we're going to need to wear leather boots. Snowier snow is to leather armor what gold armor was to piglins. We've got goats. Remember goats? We voted for these like a year ago. Look at them all fluffy around the edge. You know, we all love the Minecraft derpy cute aesthetic, don't we? They've got that great ability to jump, which they'll need in these new mountains that even we can't get up. This is a question I have. Why did that goat just ram that cow off the edge? I mean, what did she ever do to him? Will there be a new enchantment for our armor that prevents us from getting knocked back from a goat? Will, will they always be hostile to hikers? Can we tame and, and breed them like other passive mobs, or will they be like the hoglins where you can breed them but never really get that close? I've got questions. So let's take the leap off this cliffside and dive down deep into the caves below. How about these lush caves? Caves with vines and moss. I'm not calling it grass. It's, it's moss. It's even got that little carpet block uh, sitting up there on top of the blocks. There's water down here and glowing berries and... Wait, wait, is that... Is that the overhead light from Ikea we have in our daughter's bedroom? Seriously, I am loving the idea we can create particle effects anywhere with this flower. So do the particles do anything to us? Does this flower have an effect? Is there something else we can make out of it? And the drip leaf plant growing in here? It's a clever idea! This is what lily pads always should have been with a root system and just a little danger on the side. But what I want to know is what's that cute little twee? I mean, is that the azalea sapling? Or is that a whole other tree? I mean, if you plant that up in the upper world, does that grow into an azalea? And why would I want it to grow into an azalea when this one is so much cuter? What if they made all the saplings in this game that cute and that plantable? And what about the azalea that grows up on the surface to show you where these lush caves are? Is this a new wood type? I mean, it, honestly, it, it just looks like an oak with flowered leaves. Flowered leaves? Can we silk touch those leaves to create flowering bushes back at our base? Tell me, tell me now! But of course, the thing we really want back at our base, the thing this game's about to give us, is the axolotls. How cute are they? I know they're an endangered salamander species from Mexico, but because Minecraft has made them bigger and able to fight with and for us, I'm getting a serious otter vibe here. And otters in Minecraft is the best. Axolotls for the win. But Mojang hasn't just given us cute, they've also given us massive. It looks like they've taken the nether generation and applied it topside, underside, with massive, flyable, boatable, spectacularable, stag caves. 
Say goodbye to strip mining because gathering ore just got a whole lot more interesting. I mean, think about it. You're running out of coal or redstone, and instead of saying, well, I guess I gotta go dig away under my base, you say, time for an adventure. I like it. I mean, look at these things. We've got huge caves you can fly through, stalactites, stalagmites, and, and they can hurt you. I mean, are these the new lava in our mob farms? And please, please somebody tell me, what are those item drops when they break? What can we do with them? I mean, do we plant them? Do we reattach them? We've got to be able to use these elsewhere. I, I, I need to know. And I also need to know, what do we do with the new copper? Yes, we need it to make the new lightning rod. Can anyone, anybody say charged creeper farms? Yes, we need the new copper to make blocks and slabs and stairs that get this age. I love the idea. That's what copper does in the real world. But I got questions. What if I want it to stay copper? Do we only get that color for 16 in-game days? I mean, the green isn't that different from prismarine. Can we treat the copper somehow? Maybe smelt it a second time? And how about these new amethyst geodes? I, I know we can't move them, but what can we use them for beyond the telescope? I mean, I can't imagine we're going to need more than one or two of these things in-game at most. None if we're using Optifine. Could we use them to focus light in other ways besides the telescope? Could it be attached to our lightning rods to aim that lightning at something, like like that guy who keeps griefing your build? But Mojang didn't stop there, they went deeper still. The moss of the lush caves is joined by the growth of the deep depths. You can call it skulk all you want, but ew, gross! Unless gross has a purpose, of course. Yep, that's right. The days of wireless redstone are now upon us. All hail the mighty Mojang. Redstone now listens. And, and it's fascinating what you can do then with this wool occlusion principle to focus the sky-fi signal. But you guessed it. I, I, I've got questions. Can we grow these things ourselves up on top? I, I mean, look at them. It's a redstone sensor. You don't have to craft, but you collect already formed. I mean, it's a plant after all. Or is it? And how far can the signal travel? Is it really wireless if it only goes what in the video looks like five, six blocks? I need this thing to travel miles. Okay, okay, just, I need it to travel within a loaded chunk, please, please. But Icky Mold isn't the only thing listening to us down there. There is also the Warden. What was my first impression of the Warden? Wait, wait, are those candles? Candles? How cool is that? Well, wait, now wait, will all candles be black or can we dye them? Is this a new use for honeycomb where we can smelt it to make beeswax, dye it into any color we want? Please, Mojang, please say goodbye to Torch Spam and hello to Candle Spam. What was I, what was I, what was I talking about? Oh, that's right, the Warden. The new boss mob to end all boss mobs. He's, he's blind, but that ain't stopping him from leaving you deaf, dumb, and dead. Its blindness has only heightened its other senses, namely its ears. It's cute little antler ears that wiggle when it hears something. And apparently they've, they've heightened its muscles. I mean, this guy can take you down in two hits, even if you're weather, wearing netherite armor. But here's my question. It's called the Warden. What is it the Warden of? What is it guarding? Oh, Mo Yang, give us deep, dark treasure rooms. Give us a reason to want to get past him, please. But even blind bouncers of the bowels aren't enough for Mo Yang. They've also upgraded our storage with bundles and added a whole new pastime even slower than fishing. That's right, archaeological digs. Now, the jury is still out on the bundles for me. It's cute. I think it fits into Minecraft. It, But does it solve the inventory management problem? I mean, they only hold 64 items, the same number of items that already fits into an inventory space. And I know, I know, before you spam the comments, I know they can hold multiple items of multiple kinds in that 64 stack. But I'm going to need to play around with them before I know if they're really that helpful or not. I mean, when I gather stuff, I tend to gather whole stacks. But 
Time will tell. Now, how about those digs? My first impression, is this a mod? Or is this really coming to the Minecraft main game? Because I am all for new things to find when traveling, when exploring throughout the world. But the question I had was this. Will the brush that we use in them enable us to have, here comes builders, enable us to have dirt and gravel half slabs? Have dirt and gravel now become like snow layers in Minecraft? Please say yes, Mo Yang. But in the meantime, I'll be here, working on my base, clearing some space for my new collection of fired clay pots. Well, I'm Sean the Shepherd, and I'll see you next time, and so will the glow squids. So what do you think? Will their ink create new neon colors? Can we use it to make yet another light source? Will we find them in underground lakes? Will they follow us if we're carrying a torch? How about a candle? Can I name one Fred? <laughs>